That's the rule. <laughs> Al Bashir days are numbered. I'm glad to see the Sudanese people in Sudan and in diaspora united in wanting to see Al Bashir and his regime gone. This is the most ruthless dictatorship Sudan has ever known. Because of his atrocities in Darfur, Al Bashir now is wanted fugitive, indicted with crimes against humanity, war crimes, and genocide crimes. Al Bashir to ICC! 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 Today, as we gather here in this rally, demanding end to the regime in Sudan, Sudanese people are demonstrating in Khartoum and other big cities in Sudan calling for the end of one of the most brutal regimes in the world. I am from Darfur. My people know firsthand how evil this Al Bashir is. Still, there are three million Darfuris in refugee camps in Darfur and Chad. As we stand here today, and at this moment, there are hundreds of thousands of Nuba Mountains people trapped in caves in South Kordofan. They are suffering from starvation as al-Bashir uses food as weapon of war. It is sad note that it took harsh austerity measures to bring people in Khartoum to the streets to protest the ruthless regime of al-Bashir. We, the people of Darfur, knew all along how bad al-Bashir is when he used genocide as the final solution to our people. People in Nuba Mountains knew all along how evil al-Bashir is when he bombs the civilians, killing children and women. Yes, al-Bashir days are numbered. But let me say this to my fellow Sudanese. If there is no justice in Sudan, there will be no peace in Sudan. Al-Bashir in the past 23 years has deliberately destroyed the judicial system in Sudan. Any new government takes over after the regime's fall will take years, if not decades, to restore the integrity and fairness of the Sudanese judicial system. People in Darfur and Nuba Mountains cannot wait for the judicial system in Sudan to be built back. Justice delayed is justice denied. We, the marginalized people of Sudan, in Darfur, in Nuba Mountains, in Blue Nile, demand that any newly formed government follows the fall of the regime should immediately hand over al-Bashir to the International Criminal Court along with the other indicted culprits. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Yep. Yep. We ask the U.S. government and the international community to guarantee justice for the victims in Sudan to do the following. Number one, sanctions against Sudan should not be lifted Till Al Bashir and other indicted ones are handed over to the International Criminal Court. Two, any newly formed government should comply with all United Nations resolutions on Sudan. Three, Sudan should be put under a strict program to prevent any occurrence of genocide against any people in Sudan. Never again. Culture of tolerance and accepting the other must be incorporated in the constitution of the post-Al-Bashir Sudan. The fall of the regime in Sudan will save lives, but may not be the end of Sudan's problems. Departure of Al-Bashir is not a guarantee that the marginalized people of Sudan will find justice and lasting peace unless soul searching and drastic measures are taken by Sudanese people themselves first. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.